cleaning phase, we'll need some 99% isopropyl alcohol. Alternately, you could use brake clean or TSP. Of course, brake drum. I like to have some fine sandpaper. This is 220, uh, 400 would work. Some rags. High temperature masking. And of course, we'll need our powder for later. I want to start by thoroughly cleaning my brake drum. If you have gloves for this, it's a good idea to wear them. I want to make sure that I hit all surfaces, do a very thorough cleaning. I'll actually go over it many times. You can never have it too clean. The quality of your work is directly related to how clean that you can get this, so it's very important. This is an optional step, but I do like to take fine sandpaper There's some grooves. There's some grooves in the surface already. Um, I'm not trying to change my surface at all. I'm just really again trying to clean it up and I just find the sandpaper helps a bit. <laughs> Now before I continue, I'll wash my hands, or if I had gloves, I'd change them. Again, just to make sure that this part stays clean. So next I'm going to mask inside the brake drum. Dry it off. The clean cloth. So I want to mask the surface where the pads touch. I don't want any paint, or sorry, any powder coating to get in here. So I'm going to mask that all the way around, nice and thorough. I've got two inch uh, high temp tape made for powder coating. Now I have the inside thoroughly masked. So now we enter the double check phase. I like to do a dry run of how the piece is going to go into the oven. Now I'm using a standard home electric oven, um, not a professional setup. This video is meant for home DIY powder coaters. So I want to check how the, how my my grill is going to fit into the oven. I want to make sure I've got a nice clean metal surface that's going to make contact with the metal of the rotor for conduction. And uh, I also took note that when it goes in the oven, there's a lip right here that, that folds upwards. And in order to put it in the oven, I need to tilt this whole thing. And my 
part wants to slide so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that when I'm done and it's ready to go I'm just going to have it tucked up to that edge so that when it goes in it won't slide around. Again other things to double check making sure that the lip of the tape is nice and solid getting rid of any air bubbles and I also like to take this chance to just blow the piece off with uh, air compressor. Now I'm going to do this powder coating in two parts. So first I'm going to powder coat the inside and I don't really need to focus on these sides because again I don't want any powder coating there anyways when I'm all done. So I'm really going to focus just on this center part and this bottom. And then now when I'm done doing that I need to flip it over. So the outside or I should say the top side will not have been powder coated. So what I'm going to do is grab it, basically, if you can see, I'll grab it around this lip. And then I'm going to flip it over. And then when I, and again, I'm gonna tuck it towards the front in my case. And then I still have this part to powder coat as well as the entire surface. So I really haven't disturbed anything. From here on out, I'll have, uh, Dust mask on. I recommend everybody when they powder coat wear gloves, dust mask, and eye protection as well. The oven I'm using is a standard small home electric oven which is dedicated for powder coating now. I'm going to preheat it to 400 and then when I bake my part I'm going to bake it at 375 for 20 minutes. Check the specs on your powder. It could vary. You'll notice that I like to shine a light. When I'm done my coating, I like to shine a light and just see if I have a uniform finish. Basically, I'm looking to see if I have any metal shining back. If I can see the metal, then it's a little bit thin in there and I know it'll look uneven. So I'm just checking to see that I don't have any metal shining through. Next, I turn off my gun, make sure that there's no electricity running to the grill. Disconnect. I'll come in, open up my oven, make the transfer. Gently. Set the oven for 375 and a timer for 20. Now the best part, I'm always excited to see how it turns out. You never know, each piece is different. All right, not bad, not bad. Okay, so I've let the part cool off, and now for the finishing touches. Actually, I'm quite happy with the job. I really think uh, blowing the piece off with the compressor helps a lot. It gets rid of all any lint and, and dust and whatnot, and it really does help to make the finished product better. Simple step, but effective. So now I want to remove the tape on the inside. It actually started to peel already, but uh, it peeled after we did the powder coating, so it's still nice and clean on the brake pad surface, which is what we wanted. Now also, we can see where it was sitting on the grill, and we do have some spots there that are still bare. 
I'm not too worried about it because, of course, this is not going to be seen anyways. Um, we've got a lot of rust protection to begin with. This is not visible. If you wanted to, if you wanted to be fussy, you could take some, just some rust paint and take a little toothpick, dip it in your paint, and then just roll it to cover these spots if you wanted to do that. Um, like I said, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm quite pleased with this. One step you might take, uh, these are really clean inside, but let's say you had some, some powder, some, some over spray that got in on this brake pad surface. You could take some, like a 220 sandpaper, or if you needed to be more aggressive, a 150, and just can clean off inside. This one is nice and clean, so we don't need to do it. But you really, especially with the with brake drums, you want to make sure this surface is clean. With rotors, it's not so important. The rotors, they're basically an outside surface and the pads will peel off this plastic powder coating and it'll drop and fall out, fall to the ground. Whereas with your brake drums, it's going to be trapped inside there. Heats up, it melts, things start to stick. You really don't want any in there. So make sure this is absolutely clean. Mm -hmm.